To our current donors, I want to thank you for your continued support of Cold Spring Harbour Laboratory. It has enabled us as a dynamic institution to very rapidly adapt to dealing with issues related to this pandemic. All of you at home bring science to the forefront to maintain the financial strength of the laboratory. Science just doesn't happen by itself. Cold Spring Harbour Laboratory focuses mostly on cancer, neuroscience, plant biology, and quantitative biology, including genomics. And we have traditionally not worked on infectious diseases. However, during this pandemic, the ability of Cold Spring Harbour to adapt very rapidly to repurpose some of the laboratories towards COVID research and apply the knowledge, particularly from cancer, to studying COVID symptoms has been very important. For instance, one of our scientists, Mikola Eckeblatt, works on metastasis in the lung. And she discovered certain ways that the lung responds to inflammation that has been incredibly important in understanding how COVID patients get severe respiratory disease. One of the great things about Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory is the lack of boundaries between research fields and people will freely exchange ideas will collaborate. And this is, I know, propelled a lot of really fundamental discoveries that have led into clinical trials during this pandemic. We are very, very lucky to have a phenomenal group of people who support Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. And I thank you for that and hope that you will continue to support the laboratory through this pandemic and beyond.